Hey guys, this is Gus from the Dan Beard Council and we're continuing our scouting at home uh, video series today. Um, I want to teach you guys how to make a bird feeder today. It's, it's nice out, it's springtime, uh, birds are out, so this is a great time to make one. Um, so you, you are going to need a few different uh, materials. You're going to need a uh, plastic bottle, um, you know, 20 ounces or, or so would be fine. Um, you will need a wooden spoon some rope, an eye screw, some scissors, and of course, I'm gonna need some bird seed. So uh, why don't you stop the video and uh, get all those materials and then we'll uh, start back up and I'll teach you how to make one. All right, so first what we're gonna do, we're gonna take your plastic bottle and we're gonna take some scissors. Now for this step, um, make sure you have at least uh, one of your parents around or they can do this part for you. But uh, what you're gonna do, you're gonna make a hole on each side of the bottle, so two holes in total, and they're gonna be at one inch from the bottom, okay? So I already made some holes. Um, so, Basically, the reason why you're going to do that is so that um, you can put the spoon, your one spoon, through the bottle. Like that. So, a note for that, you want to make sure that the uh, holes are, aren't are too big, so you don't make them, you don't cut a big enough, or too big of a hole, um, so that um, if it's too big, um, the spoon won't be tight like this. You want to make sure the spoon is tight um, so it stays in place. Okay? So after you make those uh, two holes, next thing you're going to do is go to the top of the uh, water bottle, the lid here. And if it's easier, you can take the lid off. You're going to take that eye screw I was talking about. So it's just kind of like a screw. And you're going to puncture a hole through the lid Okay, like that. And then you're gonna spin it through, if I can do it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, like that. All right. There you go, so. It's like a little hook right there on top of the lid. And then you can close it back for now. All right. And so yeah, we'll, once you make those holes, make sure to uh, put the wooden spoon through. All right. And the key um, when you put it through, um, you wanna make sure that there, the, the spoon part is close to the bottle, so you have a lot of extra of the handle on the other end. Um, this is gonna act like, um, this is where the food will be for the birds, so it's kind of like a dish. And then this will be like the stand for the birds so that they can just sit on, all right? So then you also wanna take the rope, or the string, um, and this is where you'll go through the uh, top here. And this is, and then you'll make a knot to a tree or whatever, but that's how you're gonna hang up the, um, the bird feeder, okay? Just like that. Pretty simple so far. So then, uh, next step um, will be to uh, put in the bird feed. All right, guys, so I finished the last step here. And uh, so I put the bird seeds in there. I also put a little bit of uh, the seeds on the uh, spoon because that's where they're going to eat. Um, I highly suggest when you uh, do this step to uh, use a funnel or uh, you know, use a piece of paper um, to funnel uh, the bird seeds into the bird feeder. Um, cause it, it can be a mess. This is probably the messiest, uh, step. Um, I currently have, uh, bird seeds all over my, uh, counter right now. 
Um, so uh, I highly suggest using a funnel. Um, and then when it comes to the bird seeds, um, different types of birds like different types of food, obviously. So uh, I highly suggest if this is your first time um, to just use a starter uh, bag of bird feed. So that's what I did um, just to see, you know, what type of all the different types of birds you can uh, find um, out in your you know yard. Um, so for example, this one has, um, a few different types of, um, seeds and stuff. It has, uh, s different types of sunflower seeds, safflower seeds, um, even has some, uh, cracked corn. Um, so, um, you know, on here it says it can even, you know, you know, cardinals can come to this or, uh, blue jays, woodpeckers. So um, I highly suggest just doing the starter pack just to see um, all the different, you know, birds you can find. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, all you have to do is go to uh, a tree in your yard, find a branch and uh, do, tie it, uh, this around and you'll be set to go. So that is it. Um, Thank you for listening, and uh, please feel free to um, uh, watch all the other videos that we have on uh, danbeer.com slash scouting at home. Uh, thanks, and uh, have a good day.